All right, everybody. Welcome back. Let's get on, get on into it. I'm gonna today. I'm gonna show you how to use Invoke URL in Zoho Deluge, and we're gonna make a post request, and we're gonna send some data to a webhook in Zoho Flow. All right. Without further ado, let's just jump on into it. So I'm in the Zoho CRM. You're just gonna click to get where I'm. You're gonna come. You're gonna click on. Let me get that out of the way. You're gonna click on that gear icon called Setup. Then you're going to go into that Automation tab, click Actions, you'll be placed in Email Notifications, just click on the Functions tab, okay? We're going to configure a function, we're going to write our own function because we're beasts, <laughs> okay? So um, your function name needs to be all one word, so it needs to follow their um, schema. And so this is going to be an invoke URL function. This doesn't, this is going to be what it looks like to you. Invoke URL. Okay. And then you can select any module you want. I'm just going to select leads. It depends if you're using data from a record. Okay. So to use invoke URL, it, so you must be familiar with, you know, a get, put, post, some type of request from another language, typically JavaScript, I've seen Node.js, Python, Java, whatever it is. Um, this is just going to be Zoho Deluge's form of doing that. So I'm just going to pull up the syntax. So if you don't know how to get here, you can just type in invoke URL Zoho Deluge. It'll take you to this page. Okay, so here's the syntax here. So it's this easy. Okay, so we're going to info our response. So your response is your variable. So when you send off your post request, it's going to send back a response, and this is what you get here. Okay. So your URL value, we'll get to that in a sec. Type is your type of request. For this video, I'm going to make a post request. Okay. Headers, since I'm just sending um, to a webhook in Zoho Flow, I don't need any headers. I don't need to specify my content type. I do need parameters. Let's just create a variable called parameters and we'll add to that in a sec. I'm not setting any file. Since it is a flow, I don't need a connection. I'm not going to need a detailed value, response format, response decoding, none of that. We're just going to get right into the nitty gritty of it. Okay, so I did create this variable called parameters um, and that needs to be a map. Okay, if you don't know what a map is, that's basically an object. And in that parameters, you could put whatever you want to send to your flow. So, I'm going to create some arguments. And remember, if you, at the beginning, I um, selected the module as leads. Okay, so I, say I want to send a um, lead first name. last name and to get the um, the parameter value you just do hashtag or pound whatever you call it and then you go to your module and then you select the, the field that you would like to and then I also want to send the email okay you got all that done so I got the first name last name email Let's go ahead and put that into our parameters. So the way you add to an object in um, or a map in Zoho Deluge is you do the name of the object dot put the key. So let's go first name and then directly the variable or the value. And so parameters up put last name. And these don't have to be exactly your Variable names, I'm just doing the same for simplicity. Okay, so I have my parameters done. So I need to go get my URL. So if you go to Zoho Flow, you need to create a flow. Okay, this is all including the Zoho One, you know, suite. You have Zoho Flow, you have Zoho CRM, 40 other apps. These are two of them. Okay, so demo flow with invoke URL. Okay, it's just going to be in my home folder. Let's go ahead and create that. It's going to be based off a of webhook like we talked about before. Okay, so it, since it is coming from Zoho CRM, it could be a JSON format, maybe even plain text. I haven't tried that before, to be honest, but let's just leave it as JSON for now. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and copy that URL. 
and then we're gonna set, we're gonna just do a test. Okay, let's go back. Your L value does need to be in the format of a string, and then we're gonna print the response we get. Okay, so we're gonna save and execute. I'm gonna fill in those values. Rico Suave, Rico Suave at yahoo.com. Okay, and then let's go check it and look. So it received all of that information right there, so it's that easy. Um, you can do a lot of other stuff. You can um, also make it a little bit more complicated like this. So if you wanted to do, if you have like a student object you need to send, you could do, let's say, parameters dot put student. Okay, and then let's create a student map. So if you're running an education company and you have all these different parameters for your students, you need to send your, you need to send your students objects to you know an API, whatever it is. Um, this is going to be how you do it. So instead of parameters, let's put student. Okay, so this is going to be the student object. We still have our big parameters object. We're putting our student object inside of our parameters. Okay, so think of this as your student, and we're putting it right in. Let me move parameters down just to make it a little bit more obvious what I'm doing. Okay, we're creating our student and then putting it inside of our parameters. Dot put student, student. Okay, that looks good to me. Let's go ahead and go back to Zoho Flow and retest so you can see what that looks like. Save and execute. Again, I'm just going to put in those, um, you know, those little values there. The demo values, I should say. Let's go back to the overflow. And you can see it, it does well with objects. I'm going to show you one more using a list. If you don't know what a list is, it's going to be like the equivalent of array or, I'm not sure, I can't remember what it is in Python. I just know in Java it's array. Um, also, can't remember what it is in JavaScript. It's been a minute, to be honest. Okay, but say you have a students list. Okay, students. <laughs> let's move that down here. Okay, so let's do a students list equals list. Okay, sorry, let's make that lowercase. Okay, we have our students list list. Okay, so you create your student. And we're just going to add that student to our students list. The way you do that in Deluge is you list your list, you write your variable for your list name, dot add, and then you can put your object in there. And then I'll we'll say we want to create a second student. Okay, and that student to um, Um, and this one's just going to have to be static values because I have only one lead coming in. Okay, so let's. This one will be Rico and student two dot put last name as Suave, and then lastly their email. Um, I need to be on the screen, sorry. Okay, and let's add that to the list. Looks like I misspelled student two there. Okay, so we have our students list, and now in our parameters we'll do students, and let's do our students list. I think like, that looks weird to me. I don't know why. Maybe if I misspelled that, I'm sorry. I'm terrible at English. Okay, let's just go and go back to Zoho Flow. I'm going to run a retest so we can see what this looks like. Save and execute. Okay. I'm just going to do my information. Okay. Save. Let's take a look at Zoho Flow. And there you go. So you can send a list of objects using Invoke URL. 
Awesome. Well, if you found this video at all informative, please like and subscribe. It truly does help out the channel. And thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day, and good luck.